Morning, everyone. How are we going? Give us a thumbs up if you can hear me. Yep, everyone's here. Great to see you all. Bit of a smaller group today. We'll, we'll, we'll blame that on school holidays. Um, hopefully, you guys got the uh, the memo that we were starting a little bit later today, and, and hopefully, you enjoyed a bit of a sleep in. So, our morning sessions for the next two weeks um, will be at eight thirty, as opposed to seven thirty. So. Let you guys get a little bit of extra rest, um, extend the day out a little bit as well. So we'll still finish most of our core exercises. When I say core, I mean not abdominals and core, but our actual like plyometric ex exercises. We'll finish those by about 9 a.m. So if anyone does need to go at that time, that's fine. And then we'll, we'll sort of focus the last 10, 10 or so minutes on that basketball specific for those that have a hoop. And the weather seems to be holding up okay today, touch wood. Um, we'll be able to get outside and practice some dunking. So let's get into our warm up. So we're going to move through pretty quickly today. The session will be the same as last week in terms of exercises. But what I want to do today is try and get through three sets of everything. Now, I won't myself physically be able to do three sets because I'll be like I'll be demonstrating. But you guys in your own time can get through three sets of every exercise. I'm confident of that. You only need maybe 30 seconds rest between um, between our sets. So let's get into our warm-up. Uh, we've got our skipping and we've got our body, body weight squats. Just a reminder in terms of equipment, drink bottle, basketball, uh, skipping rope if you've got one, yoga mat, and obviously a lowerable hoop if you've got access to a lowerable hoop. Um, but anyway, we're going to start with our skipping and our body weight squat. So stepping away from our camera, I'm indoors, so I'm not skipping, skipping. I'm going to be doing my pogo hops on the spot. Let's start our session timer and away we go. Here we go, skipping for 30 seconds. So I'm just pogo hops on the spot. All right, if you prefer to do line hops, you can do line hops if you've got a line in the concrete or maybe in the tiles inside. Okay, you might want to add in that little bit of a lateral kind of a movement. I'm just going to do pogo hops on the spot. Good job, guys. Excellent. 10 seconds. Here we go. So just building up nice and easy, getting that bounce into our legs. Three, two, one. Okay, body weight squats. We've got 10 body weight squats. You guys know how to do these now. Good do morning, these in your guys. own time. Who's that? Good morning. Hey, Who's that? Hunter. Morning. Oh, Hunter. G'day, mate. How are you? All right, Good so body weight squats, 10 of these. These in your own time. Feet hip distance apart if you're not sure. Sitting down to our imaginary chair. Sort of driving knees out. Last one. Okay, then we've got our A skips for 30 seconds. So once you've done body weight, squats, we've got A skips. So you guys know the A skips, I think, by now. You guys can do these in your own time. I'm going to start for 30. In three, two, one. So we're here, driving knees, driving arm at the same time. Opposite arm, opposite knee, okay? So if it's right arm, it's left knee. Left arm, it's right knee. We're just sort of skipping on the spot. So it looks a little bit like the running man. If you've got a bit of space and you want to stride it out, that's fine. Just turn a skips across the room, that's okay. Here we go, three seconds, two, one, good. Okay, five arabesques on each leg. So our single leg hip hinge. So we're, I like to start left knee up, my right leg's on the floor. And I'm kicking that left leg behind me, nice and strong, pointing my chest to the ground. I can go arms wide or I can go Superman, swing that leg through and try and balance. Five on each leg. Here we go. Again, you guys, as we continue to build through these sessions, you guys can do these at your own pace. It's not a race and I don't need to hear who's done or who's finished. It's more, if you are finished, remembering we're trying to get three sets of our main exercises today, three sets of our pliers, because we're into week three. So we're slowly building up our volume. Now I'm onto my left leg now. Um, or if you want to rest, that's when you take your rest. That's when you grab a drink. Or if you've got spare time and you've got your outside with your hoop, shoot some free throws, okay? 
So I'm, I'm, I'm leaving that to you guys a little bit now that we're into our third session. You guys should know the session, should know the exercises pretty well. And that's not to say that we rush through it and just do three sets all in one. There's a reason why we rest in between. But in that rest, it's up to you guys what you want to do. Okay, let's get into our core and our activation. So you'll need your yoga mat if you're outdoors or you're on a wet surface or a hard surface. We've got glute bridges and we've got side planks. All right, so remember, we're trying to get through that. Remember what a superset is. So a superset is two exercises. So we've got glute bridge, side plank, rest, glute bridge, side plank, rest, glute bridge, side plank, rest, okay? We're trying to get through three sets. So grab your yoga mat if you've got it. I'm gonna bring my laptop down to the ground so I can see you guys a bit better. Still got our timer for side planks, but you guys can use your own timer. I'm sure you've all got smartphones if you want to time yourself and you don't want to go in time with me. So we're into a glute bridge. Remember that one when the heels flat on the ground, feet flat on the ground. You should be able to just gently twist side to side, touch back of your heels, back flat, head flat, hips up for 10. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. That must be my dog's hair down on the carpet. So glute bridges, we squeeze both of our glutes, those muscles of our bum, big strong muscles that control this hip hinge movement, but they also protect our glutes. They protect our lower back. If we've got them properly activated, they protect our lower back. They also protect our knees and our ankles. If we've got stability and strength through our glutes. Yep, who's that? Far away, everyone keep going. Who's got a question? Um, when you finish your glute, when you finish your glute bridges, can you just go straight into side plank? You can, mate, if you're happy to keep your own time. Okay, so I've just done my 10 glute bridges. I can see a few like Tate, excellent, Zave, if you're keeping your own time, Richard, Caleb, perfect. You can go straight into your own side side plank. You just got to keep your own time. I'm I'm into my right hand side plank now in three, two, one for anyone that's doing it with me. But I can see a lot of you guys working at your own pace, which is terrific. All right. I'll probably only do one set, maybe two. And then I'm going to keep an eye on you guys for your form and try and give you guys a little bit more specific feedback. So that's the idea of these sessions as we move forward through week three and four is that it's less about me showing you how to do it and, and you guys already doing it and then me just giving you little technique corrections. Okay. So that's 30 for me on my right side. I'm going to rotate around. Good job, Ava. Got the extra hand raising there for a bit of a challenge. Some of you I can't see, but some of you I can see are doing really well. The new signets are in a straight line, so I can't tell who's doing what. All I can see is big Nick at the front there. <laughs> That's great. Good job, Aiden. So again, we want to have that elbow directly underneath our shoulder. It should be a strip from our elbow to our opposite shoulder. Okay, and you can add that other hand up if you want to. If, if you want an extra challenge, so I'm looking at, you know, the Caleb Storens, Matty Shacklock. Who else have we got here? You know, Zave. If you guys need an extra challenge, Tate, you know, older kids, 16s and stuff, or any of the younger kids want an extra challenge, add that hip abduction. Yes, add that extra. Oh, taking that leg away. Okay. That's my side planks done. Now that's my first set. I only need not even 30 seconds rest and you should be back into your glute bridges, okay? 30 seconds is heap, is a heap of time for these exercises. For our plyometrics, we might take a little bit more. So you should be back into at least your second set of glute bridges by now, if not your second set of side planks. And we're working through. Good job. Excellent, good job, Raf. Good chase. Up you come, mate. Awesome. Good. So we're into our at least our second set. Glute bridges. Good, Aaron. Perfect, mate. Well done. Job. Good, good, good. Good work, guys. Job, Aiden. Job, Caleb. Tate's under the side planks. Not too far with that leg, Hunter. Just a gentle sort of a leg raise. Good job, Lucy. 
Good job, Matty Shacklock. Try and lock your hips in a little bit there, Matty Shacklock. You, you sort of look like a bit of a banana. You got to try and, yeah, get those hips down. Is that Anton or Cormac? I can't tell at the front there. Get, get, get your hips down a little bit. Now get your hips down. So you should be a straight line. That's better. That's the spot there. Good job. All right, good. So we should be should be just about finishing up our second set of our uh, side planks. We're coming into our, now, if you've had about 30 seconds, good job, Reed. That's rock solid side plank, mate. So if you've had a, a good Zach, so if you've done your second set, go into your third set, one drink. So third set of glute bridges. Third set of glute bridges. Okay, I'm gonna come down and do a second set. So we're here, straight line from our shoulders all the way to our knees when we bring our glutes up. Okay, head, head not rest and nice and relaxed, okay, on the ground. We're not cranking our neck into any weird positions. We're just straight line, shoulders to knees. When you come down again, we're gonna talk about it when we do some core exercises. Imagine like you've got a grape under your lower back and you're trying to put some pressure on that grape, but you're not trying to squish the grape, okay? So you're not too tight through your core that you're pressing the lower back into the ground, but your core is activated. So you can just feel a slight pressure on either side of your lower back. Okay, once we've done 10 glute bridges, we're back into our last set of side planks. And then we're moving on. If you're finished, if you've done three sets, you're moving pretty quickly, but that's okay. We're into our dead bug and dead bug rocker and Michael Jackson leans. So if you're if you're finished your third set, remember the dead bug. Dead bug is hands straight up, knees knees at a ninety degree angle, and, and knees directly over hips, and it's right hand, left leg, left hand, right leg, and then we rock up. So it's sort of like a little rocker, but we keep our shape. So that's, that's a key detail I'm gonna be watching for you guys today. I don't wanna see you grab your knees and rock up like that. I mean, you can if you need to, but ideally we keep this dead bug shape here as we rock forward and come back, okay? That's the idea that we're challenging our core there. So it's 10 total, 10 total. So you go, yep, yeah, so left, right, and then rock, that's one. Good read. So you go left, right, rock up. That's one. Good job. Good, Colton. Perfect. Don't, don't let that uh, foot rest on the ground. You just you can tap your heel down if you need to, but we don't need to let it rest. Good work, guys. Good job, Chase. Awesome. So opposite hand, opposite leg, Zave. That's better. Don't let that leg fall down. That's good. Good, Zave. Don't forget to rock up, Zave. So it's left, right, then rock up. Left, right, rock up. Boom, boom, now rock up. There you go, yep, I know it's hard, yep, good. Good job, guys, good, Matty Shacklock, well done. Good, Eleanor, see you off in the distance there. Good work, a little rock up, good job, Richard. Perfect, mate. All right, and then we've got our Michael Jackson lean. So if you guys are into that now, remember, Michael Jackson leans, we're trying to keep our heels on the ground. You can use your mat, we can have a wall in front of you if you'd prefer to use that. Heels are staying down and we're just trying to come forward as far as we can. You'll feel your toes. Like if I was, if, if my hands were my toes, you'll feel your toes sort of do this in your shoes. They'll sort of grab, they'll look to grab the carpet or look to grab the bottom of your shoes. That's the, that's what we want. We want our toes having to contract because that's working the muscles of our feet. This is to strengthen the muscles of our feet and ankles. Okay. Yep. Who's got a question? Who's that? Chase? Yeah, how much um, do we need to do? Uh, the Michael Jackson leans, mate, are five. Five total. So 10 dead bug rockers, five leans. Yeah, thank you. Good. So remember when you're doing your lean, Hunter, I can see you doing it there a little bit. We're not just bending at the hips, okay? Our hips stay pretty well locked in. You can have a gentle sort of a hip hinge. But when we come forward, it's our whole body. I know it sounds weird and it feels a bit awkward, but you'll feel your toes dig into the carpet or your toes dig into the bottom of your shoes, but don't just bend at your hips and do that. That's not the lean. Okay, that's a hip hinge. So if you have to do it, I've got a wall behind me here. If you have to do it facing a wall so you can really test your boundaries, dig those toes in and you might 
fall forward into the wall. The, the idea is that we're trying to come forward as far as we can. And then you might just rock onto your tippy toes, but then you've got to come back. And over time, we'll get a little bit further and a little bit further. Good job. Once you've had a rest, go back to your uh, go back to your, your, your dead bug rockers. Let's keep moving through here. So we've got three sets of that superset. So chase your hands in that rocker, mate. Your hands are going back, not forward. So your hands start above, directly above your shoulders, and they go back behind your head in unison with your foot. So if your foot goes straight out, your hand goes behind you. I'll show you quickly. So our dead bug is here. So our hands, if I go with my left leg down, my right arm goes behind my head. So I'm stretching nice and long, almost like a layup. Not, not this way, not hand coming down. Okay, hand is going up above our head and it's opposite hand to opposite leg. And then that rock up is just tapping your heels down to the ground and going again after you've done right. Left arm, rock and tap. <laughs> Here we go, keep working. We need to get into our pliers stuff because we're at about 15 minutes here. We really need to get into our pliers because remember we've got three sets to get through. Weather's holding up okay. So hopefully we can get outside and do some, I want to watch you guys do some dunking today, those that can. I don't know if that was a demonstration there, Adam, or if you were just paddling your hands there. Not sure what you're doing there, mate, but I like I like what you bring into the table. <laughs> yeah, mate, what did it look like? <laughs> you're just there doing this. <laughs> just <laughs> taking the Michael Jackson stuff a bit too serious, bit of a thriller dance. Good job, Zach. So if you've done, you should be definitely done with a second set now, hopefully on to a third set. So about 30 seconds and then we're going to move on to our plyos, okay? So I know we're moving pretty quickly through this, guys, but that's okay. If you're only two sets in and we move on, just keep your eyes on the camera and, and keep and finish off your, your third set. If you're done with your core, make sure you've got a drink, roll up your mat, and we're into, we're into our penultimate build-ups. So remember, our penultimate build-up is about explosive first step and building momentum before we before we really leave start to leave the ground so it's a it's a it's a movement that we don't we don't generally work on as much as we probably should if you're still going with dead bugs you're still going with leans keep going okay there's no rush again you're working in your own time so we've got a penultimate acceleration for five and a penultimate max touch for two good job reed with those leans so the penultimate acceleration, five on each leg. So I'm going to push off my right leg first. So that's the leg furthest from the camera. I'm going to push off and I'm just going into left, right, but I'm not jumping. Okay, not yet. It's just a push off and we're getting that timing with our arms. Okay, and that arm swing. Okay, so I might, as I push off with my left leg, I might go arms straight up. So I sort of throw my arms out as I push off. So I'm leading with my left leg throw my arms and then swing them down as I come into that sort of squat movement. All right, so full pace, I'll show you what that looks like. All right, we're doing five of those on each leg. So five pushing off your right leg or five leading with your left leg. If it's easier to think of it as which leg are you leading with, I'm leading with my left leg here. So as I push off, I'm throwing my arms up and then I'm swinging them back. That's gonna generate a heap of elastic momentum for me to then throw my arms up over my head, jump as high as I can. So five on each side. That first step, you lead, you try and get as far as you can. So really push out. Okay, really get a nice big stride. We're not jumping just yet. Five on each side, okay? So that's me done on my leading with my left. Now I'm gonna lead with my right. And it should change the angle slightly because if you think about it, one would be, okay, if I'm leading with my right leg, I'm probably taking off um, on like the left-hand side of the basket. If I'm leading with my left leg, I'm probably taking off on the right-hand side of the basket, okay? For, for those, particularly those 16s that are in the group, looking at Caleb and that. So once you've done your five build-ups, penultimate build-ups, now we're into a penultimate max jump. 
okay? So now we're doing just two on each side. So we've done five build-ups. Now we're doing two jump as high as you can after that build-up. If you guys want to move to, if you're not outside already and you'd prefer to do this outside so that you can jump and grab the rim or jump and tap your carport or garage or whatever, I'm, I'm going to stay inside until we get out to the basketball specific stuff. So now we're just doing two on each leg. So I'm doing two leading with my left and just jumping as high as I can which as you guys know is not very high okay two on each side again if you're outside please get outside get a basketball in your hands if you've got that available to you right left and up okay so two each side now have a rest all right so that's our superset there are two exercises. Once you've had 30 seconds to a minute rest, go another set, okay? So I'm gonna be pretty strict on rest periods here because when we're talking about power movements, when we're talking about power, rest is important. The rest, we've got to let our, got to let our central nervous system and our muscles recover. Okay, Zach, make sure you, you stay down in that position. If you're doing that penultimate, that's better. Good. Make sure you stay balanced. The, the purpose of working on that penultimate, it feels a bit strange because you're not actually jumping. But the purpose is getting that positioning right and really working on that. It's, it's really, it's a footwork. It's footwork and it's momentum. So we're throwing our arms out, swinging them back as we plant that outside foot. Okay, so if I'm leading with my left leg, I go left, left leg's out, boom. And as I'm about to plant that right leg, I, as powerfully as I can, I'm swinging those arms back behind me. Okay, so, so I lead with my left, arms are out in front of me. I've taken a big stride. As I'm coming through, I'm about to plant that right leg, swing my arms, and now I'm ready to explode up. So second set now, you should be into second set. Good, Riley. Should be definitely into your second set now. So leading with the left, so it's just the build up, five on each leg. I'm gonna do these ones with you. Lord knows I need it. Good job. Five on each side, I'm only gonna do the second set. I'm gonna come and watch you guys. Good job, we're making good time, making good time, making good time. If anyone's got to go at, ten, uh, at nine, that's okay. We'll be done with our, we'll be done with our plyometric exercises. It's just the basketball specific stuff to go. All right, good, good, Ava, good. So now we should be into our takeoff. Okay, if it's wet in your backyard, Hunter, yeah, don't, don't risk it, okay? You can always wait till the weather's a bit better. Good job, Caleb. That's a good build up, good. So if we're into our takeoff, so Lucy, I really wanna see you. I know it feels a bit weird when you're not touching anything, but jump as high as you can. Get those arms up over your head as well. That's a big part of that, that build up and that jump is arms up overhead. How are you going there, Tate and Scout? You got that hoop lowered or not? Yep, awesome. Get up there and get up there and rip it down, Tate. Good job. Yeah, if it's wet outside, Raf, if it's wet for you as well, it's okay. Just stay where you are, mate. Hopefully you've got something inside that you can use as a bit of a marker to get up and touch to, to, to be a bit of a guide for you. Good. All right, how are we going? Are we second set done or are we some of you look like you might be third set done even? Yeah, Mia, Emily, good. Okay, that's all right. If you're still going with your second or third set, just eyes on the camera. And I'll, I'll just quickly, really quickly go through power skips and one foot approach touch. So remember our power skips. So again, it's it's just a right leg, left leg, take off right. Okay, so two skips, take off on the third one. Okay, so if I'm leading with my right foot, skip right, skip left, take off right, okay? So it's just allowing just a little bit of that momentum to build up and then we spring up, okay? So 
right, left, take off right, lead with my left knee. So that one, we're doing three on each leg. Okay, so I've just done three leading with my right. Now I'm gonna do three leading with my left. So it's a left skip, right skip, take off left and lead with that. I remember when we take off, everything we're doing here is about basketball. I mean, it's good to improve our jump for other sports as well, but left, right. So it should be driving that knee up. Okay, there's not too many sports where you jump and you don't have to drive with your knee. You know, even if you're, you know, most of you should be multi-sport athletes still because you're young. If you're playing footy, very rarely you're just gonna you're gonna jump up off one leg and not drive that knee up. Okay, in footy you're gonna need to do the same sort of thing. So get that full movement correct. Okay. okay? What was that? Left, what the right. Cricket. cricket. <laughs> when are you jumping in cricket off one leg? When you're going for a catch, sometimes. You probably jump off two legs, but you might jump off one. But you'd probably still, if you're jumping off one leg, you'll still be leading with your knee. That knee drive, it's just like when you're sprinting, you just need that knee drive to help you get as high as possible. So those, we're doing those skips. Good, scout. Or was that Tate? I'm going to assume that was scout dunking that. I'd like to assume it was scout. Yep. And if you're skipping, by all means, get a basketball in your hands. If you're outside, the sun's out and it's not wet, do your skips with your basketball, yeah? Lead with your right leg left leg take off and try and dunk it off the skips okay that doesn't change the exercise at all we're still we're still working on that rolling through okay so that the idea with the skipping some of you might not be able to see this but the idea is now we're translating and we're working through that rolling through our foot okay so we're warm like that movement there that sort of building that elasticity in our in our foot muscles and that rhythm helping us explode up so the second exercise is a one leg build up. Marcus, you've done three sets. That's quick, mate. Real quick. You don't forget you need to rest. It's not three sets. It's not 18. Yeah, it's three sets of six. It's not three times six. Just do all 18 at once. That defeats the purpose. So when I say three sets of six or three on each leg, three, three, then you do your superset, whatever that is, and rest. Okay. So our second exercise for this is our one leg build up. So however much space you have, I've got about space to take about five steps here. So I'm just going to go one, two, three, four, boom, and take off. Okay, one leg. Okay, so make sure you're doing it, timing it so you're taking off on your left leg and then taking off on your right leg. All right, so one foot approach touch, two on each leg. Two on each leg. Now, I'm going to switch my camera off. You guys work on that. So we're going to get, we've got three sets to get through. So our two exercises, just to clarify, our two exercises are our power skips, boom, 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 three on each leg. So lead with your right three times, lead with your left three times. And then we've got our one foot just to sprint and take off as high as you can. Sprint, take off as high as you can, okay? Off one leg, right? So we've gone from two leg jumps, one leg jump. Now we move, once we've done three sets of that, make sure you have about, 30 seconds to a minute rest in between. I'm still watching you guys, but I'm going to move to outside because I've got some decent decent weather today. Can it so be more you're... than three, uh, I mean, five steps? Yeah, it can be more. Yep, yep. If you've okay. got the space, you can do as many as you like. Yep. If you've got the space to do 10 steps, the more momentum you can build, the better. All right. So I'm just going to shift... I'm just going to turn off my camera for a second. Okay, no worries, Marcus. Yeah, as long as you're rested, but we've got those three exercises, uh, two exercises, three sets of each. So I'm going to move my camera to outside so that I can do some uh, do some pliers, do some dunking with you guys as well. Just got to switch to my hotspot here. Um, okay. Jared, I'm leaving it at nine because my um thing is because my backyard's wet. No worries, mate. Yep. If you can't do, okay, no worries. See, mate, if you can't do the jumping, you've got to go at nine. Just do those uh, do those exercises in your own time when the weather's a little bit better. Thank you. All right. A few people taking off. Feel free to take off if you've got, if you don't have a hoop and you want to get going at nine, that's no problems. I'll just turn my camera off here for a second while I move outside. Still be able to hear me, okay? 
hopefully. So I'll just shift, grab my basketball. And out we go into the front yard. It's a bit windy, but I think there's no rain just yet. So hopefully you're still with me. And we're into, if you haven't done, or if you're finishing up your third set of our power skips and our one leg takeoff. All right, otherwise you're outside with me. What NBA team do I go for? Minnesota Timberwolves randomly. I chose them after the 2012 Olympics, Chase, because I had Ricky, I liked Ricky Rubio, killed it at the Olympics, and they had Ricky Rubio, and the, uh, the Russian coach, Russia was in the Olympics that year, and they were pretty good, and he was the Minnesota coach as well. So, uh, all right, here we go. Uh, so finishing option for those that are still here, we've got two foot takeoffs. Okay, two foot takeoffs. Uh, yeah, we do need a ring, Raf. Yeah, so this part, or no, you don't have to have a ring. So you can see here, I've got my carport. Like I'm really lucky. I've got a, 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 a hoop I can use. The two foot takeoffs are going to be the same as our penultimate build up that we just did. Okay, so you can take two or three steps, or you can just start with that lead with that lead foot. So if I'm going. If I want to come up, as I said, if I want to come up on the left side of the hoop, I'm going to lead with my right leg and take off and miss a dunk, okay? So if you want to go, you go right, left, come up and dunk, okay, with one hand or two hands. Hopefully your ball doesn't roll away as far as mine. Remember, you don't have to use a basketball either, yeah? If you've got a tennis ball or something. Now, if you don't have a hoop, so I'm going two foot takeoffs, Here. If you don't have, I've got a carport right here. I can use that as a guide, All right? So I put my basketball down. I might just do takeoffs to my carport. It's going to be better than inside, okay? So I'm still right, left, and I'm trying to get up as high as I can on that carport. Use it as a guide, right? So I know, I know then I can touch the top of the carport to about the middle part of my palm. Now I want to try and touch the carport. I want to try and get to my wrist, okay? Let's see if I can get to my wrist with those two foot takeoffs. There we go. So I got up a little bit higher. Okay, we're gonna to have to do the best we can with our surroundings. So, if you hoop, I can see a few of you on a hoop, two foot takeoffs, five each leg. So what that means, again, what that means, right, left, so leading with for five, then left, right, okay, for five. Here we go. So do these in your own time, then we're doing one foot takeoffs. So if you've got a hoop or you've got somewhere you can start to take off and hopefully have a go at dunking, good read. That's okay. You can even use the wall or just even take the ball away and just try and grab the net or touch the net. But you've got to start somewhere. You've got to start somewhere. Let's go, Tate. Yes, love it. Good, Tate. Hey, it's good. This is the best way to work on your plyos is to get a hoop. Good, Matty Shacklock. Ooh. Good. The best way to do it is to start aiming for something, and there's nothing better to aim for than a hoop. Good, Caleb. That's too easy for you, Caleb. Let's put that up a little bit. Get that takeoff working. Good job, Willow. My favorite thing, I don't know who it was the first week. It might have been Eleanor. I can't remember. My favorite thing to see is when we've got our girls dunking. Yeah. By the time you girls, particularly you girls in 12s, 14s, even some of the, the older girls, I reckon there'll be a few of you will be dunking. Um, maybe by the time you've fully grown. I wouldn't be surprised. All right. So keep working on your takeoffs. I'm going back. I'm going to do a set of right left. So I'm going to do two foot takeoff. No dribble just yet. So right left. Take off. Again, if you need a tennis ball, so someone made a really good suggestion the first week, you might not be able to use a full-size basketball, okay? Because that's an extra, probably an extra two inches you've got to get above the hoop. So if you're close to dunking, right? So I'm looking at, you know, even on the eight-foot hoop, some of you might be, you know, on the eight-foot hoop, some of you might be just be able to get your hand up to the rim yeah, off a full jump. Grab a tennis ball and dunk the tennis ball. And then eventually, eventually what you'll find is you'll be dunking the tennis ball. You'll be dunking the tennis ball and it'll start to get too easy. And then you can grab a whatever ball comes next, you know, a sort of a soft, so maybe a toy or something like that, a toy ball that's halfway between the tennis ball and a basketball. 
The other thing is you don't want to be hindered by, uh, by the fact that you might not be able to palm the basketball. Yeah, if you can't palm the basketball, it's going to be tough for you to practice that plyometrics, but it can still be a lot of fun practicing the smaller ball. Good job. Okay, five, five on each side, and then we're doing our single leg takeoff. So once we've done five, five left, right, takeoff. On each and right, right, left. Now we're doing single leg. Okay, so we're just taking off one leg. So I'm going to start taking off my left leg. So I'm just going to go right, left, take off. But you can add more steps if you want. Work on your timing, okay? So I'm right, left, take off. All right? But you might, you might want to stretch it right back. You might have heaps of space. Okay, you might want to take some more steps. Really, really build it up and take off. Up to you. But we're working on taking off our left leg, which for right-handers, Okay, for right-handers, that feels more natural, but we have to work on taking off our right leg as well. You, don't, you, can, you can have a preference of which side, but you don't want to be able to only leg. You want to be able to jump off both legs? You can certainly have a preference though. So we've got five on each leg. Job, Tate. We've got five on each leg. Get out there, Scout. Just go for the net, Scout. Get out there and go for the net. Good job. Good, Aaron. Maybe it was Aaron. Is that hoop lower, Aaron? Might have been you dunking in week one, I reckon. No, mine's not lowerable. But I'm just oh, it's not lowerable. That's okay. Do layups and try and touch the net. Oh, sorry, I didn't see Ava's left. See, Ava. <laughs> sorry. Good, guys. So if you're, if you're fin finishing off, just five on each leg. Can you dunk that, Nick? Is that lowerable there, Nick? Can you think that? Oh, very, yep, too easy. Here we go. Good job. So if you're getting that real easy, get up with two hands. And if Mia and, yeah, good, good. There we go. That's too easy for the big fella. So Mia and Amelia, don't worry about the basketball for a couple of goes. Just go up and try and grab the net. Take the basketball away and just work on your momentum. Use your arm swing to be able to go up and grab the net or touch the touch the ring if you can. There you go. Yes, that's it. That's perfect. We just got to work on that jumping technique. Remember that penultimate build up we worked on. There you go. Good. Good. That's it. Can I use a chair to uh, kind of dunk? Nope. 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 <laughs> no, I will say I will not approve that because then I'm going to have a kid with a broken leg using a chair. Nah, that's not the point, mate. The point is not. I can see you with your chair there. I appreciate your enthusiasm, but the point is not just to dunk it. The point is just to challenge our vertical leap. Yeah. So using a chair is not an option. No, do not use a chair. If your hoop doesn't lower, that's okay. Just just use something as a guide, but do not use the chair. <laughs> oh God. I'm gonna have a lawsuit coming at me by the time we get back to the stadium. All right, how are we going, guys? So we should have easily, you guys are hopefully having a bit of fun with this. We should have easily done five on each leg. As I said, mix up the size of your basketball. If you're having trouble palming the basketball, okay, so I'm, I'm looking at like Nick and Caleb. Uh, I don't know if Caleb's still in here, Caleb's story. Oh, yeah, Caleb's there, Matty Shacklock. You guys are at the stage in, in your development where you're pretty close to dunking a, a full-size hoop, um, but it might, be a, it might just be a question of palming a size seven ball might be the issue. Tennis balls, even like weighted sort of medium-sized balls, um, and then still working on, oh, yeah, you can palm it easy, Nick. But even working on lowered hoops with the full-size basketball. So you can still work on dribbling into your dunks. But then when you, need to, when you need to go up a level. So I guess the first step, what I'm saying is the first step is eight-foot hoop or lower. If you've got like a six-foot hoop, if someone can get down to like six foot for our under 12s and 14s, there are those hoops at Kmart that you can use. Um, the first step is get the lowerable hoop. If you can't dunk it, just jump up and try and touch the rim. Once you can touch it consistently, get a small ball like a tennis ball and try and dunk the tennis ball. Once you can confidently dunk the tennis ball at whatever height that is, six or eight foot, try and dunk a smaller basketball or a smaller sports ball of some description. Then once you're dunking a basketball on a six or eight foot hoop, consistently dunking a, uh, no worries, Willow, see you later. Then once you're consistently dunking a basketball on that six or eight foot hoop, that's when you can go up. 
So then you go up, so you might go up to seven foot or eight and a half foot, depending on what hoop you've got. And then that's when you start again with the tennis ball, or you just try and touch the rim at that next height, right? And then you build up again. So you're just touching the rim, touching the rim at higher, but you can still go back to that lower hoop and dunk with the basketball, right? So for me, this is at about eight and a half foot here. This hoop's at eight and a half foot. I know that I can do a, I can go between the legs. Oh, oh how's the handle? I can go between the legs behind the back and then take off and dunk it, right? So I can work on my handles and taking off and attacking the rim. But I know that if I go up a little bit higher, I, I need to focus a bit more on, oh. I know that if I go up a little bit higher, that's gonna be harder for me to dunk with a basketball. So I can probably only, I, I, can, I probably don't even need the basketball. This one might just be me just trying to get up and grab the rim. Yeah, for two or three goes. I might take off two feet. Now I can grab it pretty easy. That's at about nine, nine and a half feet. Now I grab a tennis ball and I dunk it with a tennis ball. All right, guys, that's going to bring us to the end of today's session. Want a, uh, a really quick cool down? Let's just get a really quick cool down before I send you off. So if you've got a space to stand like so, we're just doing our hip articulations. So just moving our hip through a full range of motion. So open the gate. Close the gate. So I'm standing on my left leg. Bring that knee up, out to the side, down. Bring it out and around, five on each leg. So again, having really healthy balance on a single leg, but also really good hip range of motion. Remember when you're doing this too, don't lean to one side. So it's not about getting your hip up as high as it can. It's about working that hip through a full range of motion. If that's as high as you can get your knee, that's as high as I can get mine because I, I hit my, I've got Irish hips, which means I've got very tight hips. Um, that's fine. We're only against our own bodies. We're just working our hip through a full range of motion. So five on each leg. Uh, then you guys might want to just quickly do some, some leg swings, forward and back, just to get that lactic acid moving around. Again, you shouldn't be too fatigued from this session today. Um, this session is really just about quality, not quantity. Do some swings across your body. Swings across your body. Do a couple of calf stretches. Yeah, so use your hoop, use a wall, whatever you've got. Calf stretches, make sure we're stretching those out gently. And that's going to bring us to the end of our session, guys. So you guys are on school holidays. If you can get out or stay outside right now, get some shots up, enjoy the weather while before it rains. Make the most of it. Thanks, Harrison. Um, get out, practice your dunking, stay active. Uh, don't forget, we've got our mobility session at 4.30 today. So if you want to join in the mobility and get a bit of recovery, all good. Bye, Jared. All right, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. Just watch out for those Bye. Bruce. Thanks, Jared. Watch all right, guys. Watch out. Watch out Thanks, behind Jared. your red. Bye. See you, guys. See you later. Bye. See you. See you, Lani. See you later. See you, Colton. Careful on that scooter, mate. See you later, Aaron. See you, Aiden. See you, guys. Thanks, See you later. Thank, See you, Logan. Thank you, Jared. No Thanks, worries, Jared. Aiden. Good on you, mate. Good boy. See you, Marcus. Well, welcome, Thanks, mate. Jared. See you, Logan and Noah. Good on you, guys. It's just Noah just time. saying. Oh, it's just Noah. All right, mate. See ya. Bye. See you later.